Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Happy Friday. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message for all of you. And this daily is a little different. And thank you for the one who requested this kind of daily. As you know, loves, I am the one who dedicates this channel to all of you and definitely I create this channel to bring the messages bring the energies towards you so this daily will be for the fire for the air for the water and for the earth if you are more inclined into the fire pick the first pile the carnelian pile if you are more inclined to the air, pick the quartz pile. If you are inclined more to the water, pick the appetite, appetite, appetite one. And of course, if you are more into earth energy or have more earth where your chart predominates or it's very strong earth energy, Pick the fourth pile. So again, fire, air, water, earth. Of course, if you are more into this or if you are really into the carnelian stone or the quartz or appetite or obsidian, whatever you are feeling pulled stronger. Might feel like a pick a pile reading. I feel like not, but here we are putting along the other piles here and going and starting with the fire ones. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or those of you who definitely are connected with the Carnelian stones. Let's see, loves, what we have for you and how this day it strongly brings to you as well many of you know this message is coming into the day or today but this energies could be longer than one single day messages for you loves let's see what we got We have death and the chariot. Many of you going through a big change or something here finally it's done and over, moving on to something. Yeah, look at you. Page of Wands. Into something completely new. You ended something. It's done. You are moving. Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles. Three of Swords and Justice. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay. We have two pages, a Queen, a King and a Knight of Swords. The only thing here I want to Clarify is this Three of Swords, Four of Swords, and Star, and the Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Moon, and Strength. Okay. All right. So, Sagittarius, it seems here you are moving forward or you, you finally can move forward. And this move really speaks of give yourself the chance to do the right thing. 
whatever it is, for some of you, you might left your job or you want to change your career. And for some reason, you could be afraid to go forward or afraid to acknowledge your true worth because King of Pentacles speaks about you are responsible. You can hold more. You can do more. You are worthy for more. All right, loves. The Page of Cups, Two of Cups, you do have a new opportunity coming in. New energy. And of course, if you're allowing it. For some of you, you might move on from someone who, who hurt you in the past. Or the connection was not really what you were looking for. You could take a little while to heal and now you have something new. But this new looks like something you always dream of or wanted. There's a lot of things here you're still even learning on this move. So whatever here is past related energy don't afraid to let it go. Overcome it and know your strength. So I see two energies here for you, loves. Fire science. The only page here, as you see, is missing its page of pentacles. And page of pentacles always speaks about a tangible new beginning. Whatever that new beginning is. I very, very strong st still see here work related energy, but it's still kind of interfering the love energy too. Because some of you, you are letting go a past person. I see them probably want to come back with this Knight of Swords. You know, we hear quite a lot rushing back into your life, seeing with so some other person here. Or if someone here didn't come back, they will come back once you move forward or start moving forward. So that's the thing. But for many, many of you, I see work-related energy that something here starts to pick up. It's like your hard work is paying off or a situation here that felt like heavy is changing or not moving much is changing yes look at this page of wands six of swords four of wands so this change definitely here it's about a move a big wake up call for you yeah, I want to still also clarify this Eight of Pentacles for you, Three of Pentacles, especially for those work-related energies who are looking for finances. Definitely you do have some kind of offer on the horizon coming in and could come in the in the weeks could be up to two months but no longer than two months as we see here for some of you a lot of things here are gonna change including the way you see certain things around you even certain people or even how how you see your work or whatever you put in effort yeah, I feel here something for some of you will start working pretty fast or will start moving in pretty fast. The Emperor. 
action, movement. But it's kind of like you, you, you will need to keep up for whatever here comes to you. It's kind of you will be in charge. You'll be in the driver's seat. So make sure you are kind of a, a good leader, a good head. Clarifying really quick this death energy for my fire signs. Four of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, a change of mindset, a change of doing certain things. High Priestess. It's kind of like you, you know this is coming. You know this change is not just a simple, small change. Okay? For some of you, it's kind of in... In just a matter of a few months, you might un not recognize yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. It's something here you ask the universe. You definitely ask the universe for a change, for movement, for a project to pick up, for certain things here to start working. Well, the universe says, you arrived, it's here. And you definitely manifest it, especially for those of you fire sign who, who manifest or work or done some kind of ritual out there and so on, because it's here. But I feel here, you, you're not 100% sure if that will work. It's kind of, I, I've done it, but I don't know if it will work or if this way it's in a good face done or it's like still a little kind of like deep down. Spirit says, have faith. Trust in yourself more than in any doubt out there. You manifest or worked on, doesn't matter. The universe is blessing you with this marvelous, beautiful change. However, I see here for some of you, there is a 180 degree change. And I don't feel here you, there's something here you can't undo. If someone here helped you to do a ritual of some kind, they will not undo it. If somebody here manifests something, you can go and say, no, 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 this is, I'm not manifesting this. Because I feel here when you manifest it, you, you definitely were wanted a change. I'm, I'm hearing someone here will do anything to have a change. Because I feel here, someone here was in pain. For whatever reason, work-wise, financial-wise, emotional-wise, whatever here is, it's just kind of like to soothe your pain. Don't get me wrong, whatever here is done is to movement, to better life, to a, a more fulfilled and definitely happy life. Four of Wands speaks very, very happy energy. So is this Six of Wands. The only six here missing, love, is Six of Pentacles. And again, leads me to the energy of you, you never had enough. For some of you, if love-wise speaking, if you were in the past with someone, they never put you on the first place or you were never with the only option, okay? For others of you, work-wise, you always needed to work two jobs, three jobs to cover the bills. Now with the Six of Wands, you're moving from that. You're not going to be struggling anymore. You are, it's kind of like you, 
you are moving from a point where you knew in the first place is not good for you. And now, voila. One advice for you, loves. One advice for my fire science, Aries, Leo, and Sage. Well, advice like no other. A new beginning. This is a blessing. This is a gift from the universe. And it seems here you can handle it because, you know, the universe doesn't give you something you can't handle. Hermit, five of wands, three of cups. All what is here is be careful of certain people, certain things coming in for you. It's kind of the, some of you, the universe gives you opportunity to probably find a better job or find a better income or have a better income, whatever it is. But I see here, there is a little warning here. Know who are your people. Know who is your tribe. And be careful who you allow into this. Because I see here, whatever, whatever you take now, whatever you're going towards, will bring certain people into your life that might not be the best for you. Best to influence you or best to bring any good to you. So don't take or don't... Yes, when things are going great, you will attract certain people. And some of them could be, you know, vampire energies, takers. So be aware of that, loves. So yeah, fire science starting a a month let's say that since today is the um, the first of september september 1st definitely here we're starting something new of course including myself look at here underneath the emperor we have king of wands from the page to the king knight of cups and the judgment so it's kind of you when whatever here comes you will recognize what is moving on to the air signs welcome loves or those who choose this quartz stone this is quartz i know i i've done my research so air signs were those of you who are into more or having more air in the chart <coughs> Excuse me. Or those of you who are very strongly into the quartz. Let's see. Messages for you, loves. Fool. And Knight of Wands. You are single. Speaking of a single air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, might be a trip you're going to take or you want to take. But it's kind of like a pleasure, a pleasure one. Doesn't feel like it's something that you going for work or anything like that. Could be for some of you. For some of you, you might deal here with two people. Let me see. And you gotta choose who you wanna be. Because with one of them, you gotta let it go. Starting something new, letting go the other. Look at here, Queen and the King of Pentacles. Especially for some of you, those of you who are being committed here with someone. Let's see. Two of Cups, you definitely have some someone coming in or someone in your mind judgment seven of wands knight of swords four of wands ten of cups six of pentacles page of pentacles and king of swords 
So definitely fire, air, and earth energy here. Clarify here really quick the Seven of Wands. Hierophant, yeah, someone here definitely is committed. One more card. Sun. Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody here is just kind of like, uh-uh. This is not a good new beginning. Eight of Cups. Sun in Taurus, Sun in Virgo here. Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. For some of you, you are quite confused what's going on or what this person wants from you. So let's see what this person wants from you. Yeah, it's kind of like they, they could be at a distance. They could be the one who can talk to you. You could talk with them. What the Six of Pentacles speaks about. Yeah, there is a secret person out there, loves. So, Spirit says, find more information about them before making any decisions here. Somebody here seems like they're single that or tell you they are single, they are not single. High Priestess, Three of Cups, yes. You know something here, it's it's off. Somebody here definitely wants new things, new experiences. I feel here you might also want this person, but not in this way. Page of Pentacles, speak to me here. Page of Cups. Emperor, Queen of Cups, the Devil. Yes, they might tell you I was with someone manipulative and things like that. But definitely here, someone here tries to manipulate the situation. Could be Earth sign, Fire sign. It's more likely you could have fire in the chart. Doesn't matter. The thing is. This person, whatever here they try to offer, it's it's minimal. Yes, they might be with the karmic. They might not talk to them or things like that. But I feel here they might not open much. So this is a very straightforward message here with the air science. This person might not tell you much, whatever it is. So you definitely need to find out more about them. What else? What else? Magician. Lovers. You manifested a connection. You do want someone. I feel here you feel like this is the one I want or this who I can go. Death. Queen of Swords. And six of cups but you need to speak up if you definitely want to be with this person for those of you for some of you you are with someone and there is a person coming into your life and you want to be with them and it's hard to leave them based on finances or based on certain things yes somebody here hold on on the past or on family or something here. Let's see. What advice we have here, loves? What advice we can have for you, loves? Nine of Wands. Chariot. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you might met this person Whatever you are taking a trip, I, I'm hearing a trip. Could be through work or through vacation or pleasure, you name it. Yes, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody here definitely 
is very very strongly in love and want to move forward definitely want to move forward into something new I also see here a test a test of time for some of you somebody here seeing you or you seeing them made them think of their life much differently than they used to before I feel here this meeting or this there's a person out there who who brought a different view about what life is or what life can bring up or can bring anything out there yes whatever here they didn't see before and now they are thinking otherwise if somebody here thought family is everything now they feel not quite there's other things out there but I see this person very somebody here really really is attracted it's like somebody here give them like honey you know like the bees to the honey that's kind of energy here Somebody here is so much pulled into someone. It's irresistible energy here. So the advice here, love, definitely here. Whatever move here, make sure it's a clear move. Because definitely here there is some, some other things in, in the mix. Or it could be other people. And you don't want to... To dwell on something that is not there for you or it's kind of before starts and something because definitely here someone might not tell you certain things so it's kind of like find out and know for yourself because yes yeah, some some people might not really want to say certain things or might not want to do certain things and of course moving to the water signs welcome loves those of you who did choose this appetite appetite stone welcome loves cancerian pisces and scorpios or cancer scorpio and pisces Let's see loves. What do we have for you, darlings? We do have the Emperor and the Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody here might act a little based on their ego. To a situation. Four of Wands nine of cups the devil six of cups three of wands yeah somebody here is just kind of um yeah it's somebody here feels like they they're rather off than work on certain things Whoever I'm speaking here, yeah, we're all choosing in this life, right? It's like somebody here hopes something to be done, but they're not gonna be done. Let me see, let me give you an example. Somebody here may have certain addictions, right? And they tell you that's not not the, not the thing but I feel here there is some kind of change needs to happen and somebody here is not gonna do it or it's very hard to to do it the addiction could be you know drinking sexual or even financial gains success sleepless nights there's yeah, somebody here is just kind of like not any longer.
So water science, you might deal here with someone who is very much my way or no way. Yeah, it's kind of for them, it's better to to walk away than work on certain things. Believe it or not, they're not happy. Like, the, they they see things much different than what how you see the things. Even though they later on kind of like, it's other thing. For some of you, this is you, loves. Somebody here will learn the hard way something. They are not going to learn the easy way. You know, some people are a little warning and they, okay, I'll do it. I'll work it through. But this person, till they don't bump the head, they are not going to do it. And it's not like only bump the head. They got to have a big bruise. That's kind of a thing here. Yeah. Absolutely. Like it's also for some of you might deal here with a very, very much workaholic person. They work a lot. It's kind of like work hard, play hard energy here. But for you, it doesn't really make sense. Kind of it's like this person is like, why they do these things? I don't know. It's kind of like they, they don't know either, kind of. Or they don't see themselves other way. This person is kind of, you're not going to change me. But I don't feel here you try to change them. It's kind of like, look and acknowledge it. We have all the eights here for some of you. This is something like work-wise related for whatever you do or how you do the things. Either you are with someone like this, work a lot or do certain things, or they need to work <clears throat> a lot on themselves. Could be a, they, they need to work on their behavior or their addictions, things like that. Somebody here needs to work a lot on certain things. But also I'm hearing a message here for some of you. Yes, for some of you, you might be married with your work. Or someone here is married with their work. I feel here they will have a breakthrough. But not the breakthrough they think they will have. We've seen when I cut the deck into the Six of Swords, we do have Six of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles here. They will have a breakthrough when they will start balancing things out in their life. But they need to understand that. Let's see. Whoever I'm speaking here, will they understand that? Or... Not quite. It's kind of somebody here needs to understand the notion of balance or what balance is. I feel here they will with the Ace of Cups here and the Fall, yes. Either someone here needs to take things a little more easy or doesn't need to take everything seriously or doesn't need to be so strongly into certain things. But yes, I feel here this person will take a different approach. What else spirit want you to know? What else spirit want you to know? Two of Cups. The Wheel. The Hermit. Okay, so water sign, I feel here you, look at this, King of Swords. 
see clearly through. You know clearly what you want. For some of you, it's you. For some of you, it's the one who you are dealing. But I feel here with the King of Swords, it's kind of like, be clear what you need and what you don't need. Be clear what is good for you and what is not good for you. Because I feel here for many, many of you, either you are dealing here with someone, either that's you. You got to clear a lot of stuff or working into the clearing. For some of you needs, um, you know, energy clearing. But definitely there is some kind of move that will put you to think about a clean slate, a cleanse, declutter, movement forward. And there's a lot of things to be left behind but left behind that doesn't serve you any longer. There's something here, someone doesn't serve them any longer. Doesn't even bring them happiness. So there's something here about happiness. Find that true happiness, not happiness through certain things. I'm happy because I have this house, or I'm happy because I drink a glass of I don't know, champagne, or I'm happy because I own this car. Material things always we can achieve. And many of you know that, that material things can be achieved. I feel here this is a different kind of happiness. Being good to you, to you or being good within yourself. Being good for who you are those kind of a things. So for some of you, you are could be the one or could be the other person. But again, there's a lot of work to be done. And yeah, King of Swords, seeing clearly what's good for you and what not. Yeah. And one more message here. Four of Cups. And it's kind of like don't bring the past into your present or even in your future. Look at here. Someone here needs to, to know that they have the power, not the past have power so for you what a sign the energy is kind of towards you or towards someone but no that's kind of a thing here because some of you definitely here it's quite um, a tremendous battle for some what I do what I need to do or what I got to do okay loves and of course, the obsidian, earth energies, for those of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see, how's your day or how this energy comes for you? I'm hearing success in your work after some quite great effort or there's a promotion for some of you, work-related one. But it seems here that you work quite a lot on what is given. Let's see. Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. There's something here, You it's given to you, but you're not sure to take it or not. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Four of Swords, Page of Cups, The Empress, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Star, Seven of Cups, and the judgment okay an ace of cups okay so you definitely have something here on the table 
but there's something here like for some of you you are there's a person here who wants to to move forward or there is a situation work wise to move forward it's like if it's a person here love wise it's hard to to take it or you're not sure if you want love or or you want to be with someone it's like your focus is more work wise like emotionally with the two of swords you are quite unavailable or you are not letting just everyone into your energy or even into your life because your focus is not kind of love but it's more likely work wise and I may speak here with an earth sign who is much more than single you are single loves I feel here you could end the connection here with someone you might end right now with someone but someone here feels left out in the cold even though someone else comes in also you are not quite out there It's like you you are not quite sure if you like love wise you are not there or you are not into that like look at here ace of swords ace of cups knight of cups yeah you you have a new offer on the horizon here the four of pentacles clarifier please hang me eight of cups Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. And the Five of Pentacles here. Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles. King of Swords, yes. For some of you, you have a past person. A new person. like somebody here might give you an ultimatum of some kind and you just kind of like I'm not gonna stay there for some of you you might even deal here with someone who were committed with someone else but neither let me see here the two of swords here hierophant six of pentacles tower Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Devil. Yeah, for some of you, you might feel here that either you don't believe in commitment, either it's a lot of drama committing with someone. For some of you, yes, you could be here with someone for others of you, you don't want to be anymore with someone. Queen of Wands, Queen, Queen of Swords, pardon me. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, yeah. And the Page of Cups, King of Wands. Yes. The Emperor, okay. So definitely, whoever I'm speaking here, you are not, you are not into commitment. Queen of Cups. Let's see what the new energy here is for. Ace of Pentacles strength it's like what's yours is there you know there is something out there for you it's kind of like a special designed energy is there for you and much more attractive oh my five of wands temperance ten of swords and the wheel 
it's kind of your time will come but definitely here there is certain things you are you're still clearing out from your way that's why you are not into anything so if you are an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn who are looking for a commitment or a connection this is not your reading the the earth sign I'm speaking here you are single and you probably still kind of like clearing out certain things but I see you focus on your pentacles on your finances more work related energy Not as much connection wise. Okay, loves. Advice for you, loves, or a message from spirit to you. Let's say. Take your time. Two of Wands. It's kind of you you keep an eye on the things, but not quite the way you wanna be. If you feel that it's not your time, yes. Even though you definitely want something in your life, you are not really to commit. But I see here for some of you, you are having someone coming in into your life. So in the meantime, I see you focusing on something, but I definitely see here someone it's coming forward probably yeah you manifesting someone someone manifests to you it's kind of you will meet in the middle but in the meantime you do other things so for the earth sign here you definitely gotta take your time or you are will take your time so loves that's what I have for you as of today. I hope this is something you are enjoying to see. If you do, let us know. Blessings, loves. And I wish you a beautiful weekend. And to not forget, today will be posted the, um, the weekly readings. For some reason, recording into a uh, super full moon, it takes quite a lot of energy to push through but they are very soon I will put them to to upload and when we'll be ready probably by the morning will be posted or if not by the afternoon for sure and of course you have a lovely weekend see ya next time bye for now